Just uh, in starting, I want to um, thank Melissa Bell for organizing the, uh, or being the point organizer for the uh, 2021 ASU Winter Intensive. And uh, having taught there a couple of years ago, I know what a fabulous job you do. Uh, this is a very special um, year since we're doing it virtually, a lot of new challenges, but I'm sure that you and the team of people that work with you are going to be um, exquisitely, exquisitely good. <laughs> um, my name is Mary Heine and um, I've been doing Aikido over 50 years. I saw, I actually saw O-sensei in 1965 when a friend took me um, to uh, view Aikido at, after our um, Japanese language class at Keio University. And so during that uh, viewing of Aikido, O-sensei came in, did a number of things, my mind blew out of my head and I decided Aikido was my life path. I returned to the United States, finished my BA in Japanese and then came back to Japan and uh, began uh, training at Hombu Dojo in 1968. When I was in uh, Japan in 1965, I not only saw O Sensei, it was also my first viewing of Sao Tome Sensei. And uh, this was at a private demonstration for the Japan De Self Defense Forces. And I don't know how it was that my friend got me into this, but uh, Sao Tome Sensei did a demonstration of uh, Randori, multiple attack with all live weapons. Uh, I think there were four or five people. And I knew nothing about Aikido or martial arts in general, but I watched him move. And all I could see was water coursing its way over the rocks of a stream bed. His movement was completely natural without any strain and absolutely beautiful to watch. And somehow all the guys wound up on the floor. So that was, that was my first introduction to Satomi Sensei later in 1968. Of course, he uh, taught um, at Hombu Dojo and I went to all the classes. So <laughs> I went to all three of his afternoon classes and um, he was one of my favorite teachers, uh, although always remained a mystery to me how he could do what he did. Um, I came back to the United States just before Christmas in 1973. After teaching a bit in Santa Cruz, uh, California, I opened my dojo in Seattle in 1976. And uh, in, I think, 84, 85, I gave the dojo to my students and moved to Canada, was chief instructor of Ottawa Aikidai for a while, eventually moved back to Seattle. But I don't, um, I have not uh, run a dojo since 1990. Instead, I just do seminars and I fly to different cities uh, and do weekend seminars. I chose this because I felt that I needed to challenge myself to grow my Aikido and it wasn't actually happening in a dojo setting. So I decided to go teach to try to get invited places where they didn't really know me and only ask for volunteers for Ukemi so that I wouldn't know what would be coming. So that actually um, helped me out quite a bit. Um, I, boy, have done that a long time and I love it because I just love the people who come to Aikido. They are the most amazing people and um, they have a wide variety of motivations for starting Aikido, but the ones that kind of get caught in Aikido and keep doing it year after year, their motivations are much wider than learning how to throw somebody. They really, you know, tend to use Aikido in their daily life to improve who they are as human beings and how they live their lives. And O-sensei said that this was the purpose of Aikido, for us to improve our how we are as human beings and to live better lives and to try to create a better world around us. So um, Aikido has never become boring. And um, I think because, you know, my very first experience with Aikido, I was really attracted to these values of Aikido. I really understood 
intuitively somehow in that moment of seeing O Sensei, that Aikido would radically change my life for the better. And it has, and I think that it has for many people. So this winter intensive is going to be very uh, interesting, very fun, very full of uh, amazing information. Uh, we have Bill Gleason Sensei, Dan Masisco Sensei, Jan Navellius Sensei, Chuck Weber Sensei, and um, Wendy White Sensei. And boy, what a lineup. I mean, this is going to be so interesting and it will be really challenging for people, I think, because this is gonna run the gamut of training our minds and bodies um, together. Um, I was asked, uh, Melissa, in one of your emails, um, what, should, what should people bring to my class? And frankly, you need to bring your mind, your body, and your heart, and don't leave one at home. It is important that all aspects of our who we are as human beings are present and accounted for. Osensei's calligraphy, um, Iki Musubi, uh, is very interesting. Um, it really talks. It really talks about um, the connections of life, of living connection, and Aikido really teaches about connection and about relationships. So, I think that it's a fabulous, um, a, just a, a fabulous um, theme for our seminar. And so, I really myself, I want to uh, work on the um, on alignment on how we move so that we exhibit the truth of connection. And so um, I'm hoping to see many people that I know and many people that I don't know as participants in this. Thank you very much. <laughs>